What's up guys, Mr. Krause Science here. This weekend I'm taking my family to a place called the Black Hills. We're gonna be looking for something called Apache Tears. Now, Apache Tears are this really cool obsidian type crystal that looks like a regular rock when you look at the ground, but when you hold it up to the light, you can actually see through it. Uh, it's slightly translucent, so it's a pretty cool little mineral. Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of editing this video and I realized I forgot to say something. It's time for class. I got projects that you wouldn't believe Science stuff, 3D prints and student machines Na 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 It's a Carol thing <laughs> Let's talk about the Apache Tears because they're a really cool mineral and I think they have a really interesting story behind them. So in the 1870s, an Apache tribe was attacked by a group of American soldiers, and they were driven onto a cliffside. Of the 75 or so Apache warriors that were there, nearly 50 of them were killed almost immediately, and the rest of them actually rode their horses off of a cliff because they said it was better to die that way than it was to be killed by the white man. Now the story goes, their sadness was so great and their burden of sorrow so sincere that the great father embedded into black stones the tears of the Apache women who mourned their dead. These black obsidian stones, when held to the light, reveal the translucent tear of the Apache. So the legend says that if you own an Apache tear, you'll never have to cry again because the Apache women have shed their tears in place of your own. And these Apache tears are somewhat sacred to those who believe in this culture. So I'm hoping that when I go to the Black Hills, I'll be able to find a couple of them so that my sons can see them and they can kind of have a piece of the culture that uh, exists around us. All right, so I made it out here to the Black Hills. It's beautiful. Actually, really, really pretty. And uh, we're looking around for these Apache Tears. So Apache Tears are a type of obsidian rock. So obsidian is an igneous rock. So it's a good sign that I see a bunch of this type of volcanic rock. Uh, it's got all these little holes and pockets in it. That to me is a sign that I'm close by where I might find some Apache Tears. My wife thinks she found one, so let's go look. Yeah, that is one. Yeah, I wonder if I can... Yeah, it's really thick, but you can, you can see the glint of sun through it when you look in the light. Uh, this, this one you can't see as well. But when it's just in your hand, it just looks like a black rock. Super cool. So I'm looking for a rock. Look, Dad. Oh, did you just find one? So I'm looking for black rock that's got kind of a hammered texture, almost kind of like a golf ball. Did he unearth one? He's just right there. What? I <laughs> Isaac found one with his butt! <laughs> <laughs> I 
will video until my phone runs out of space. Then I will borrow my wife's phone. And when it runs out of space, I will borrow Julia's phone. Ooh, ooh, I found one. I found one. Did you find one? Right here. That is an Apache cheer right there. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it is one. It's hard to get on video. It's hard to see through it. Ooh, I found a huge one. But I found another one. <laughs> okay, so I know the video quality on this is going to be terrible, but I figured the only way that I could really show you guys what this is like is by putting it on the flashlight of the phone. So you can see how it glows right in the middle. I'll put a whole bunch on here. Let's see, that's a really cool one. Look at that. That one just like turns clear. We got quite a little haul of these Apache Tears while we were out there. Uh, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please make sure you like, leave a comment down below, and if you like the channel, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I appreciate all you guys do for me, and I will see you in the classroom.